We just launched a course, Buddha Photography, with a smartphone for non-photographers. So this course is for everyone. It's great uh, for females or male who want to take uh, flattering images of themselves with an item that everybody has, a smartphone. It's also great for couples, couples who have a distance relationship and they want to spice up their relationship uh, taking selfies and or even for couples who want to take photos of each other. Uh, so it's an amazing course that is very simple, easy to understand uh, with very simple tools. Tools that we are using in the course is a smartphone, um, selfie stick and a tripod and some other little tools that will make you, will allow you to create really beautiful flattering images in a very sexy and beautiful pose. This course is available on BIB TV as well as on BIB store. It can be purchased uh, in, as an individual course or you can um, get a membership to the platform and have that access to the course as well. What else is available on our BIB store is lingerie. Yes, exciting news. We have BIB store with variety of lingerie that are inexpensive that you can purchase. Uh, so Lange is actually wearing one of the lingerie that is available on BIB store and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Anything looks absolutely beautiful on Solange. Thank you. Uh, so we're gonna uh, create one image with uh, my smartphone having lingerie here with uh, have, <laughs> having lingerie here with us <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and create one image uh, with my smartphone so you would have an idea of what you're getting from the course so let's get started. So lunch, you're going to be sitting or kind of standing facing this direction. I'm going to use this, uh, this. Actually, before we start, I just want to explain that we are in a very simple environment. We're in a master bedroom with, uh, there is nothing really fancy. So something that regular people would probably have access to, uh, which is why we chose this specific room um, to show that even in a simple environment like this one, you can still achieve uh, very beautiful images. So um, yeah, so let's uh, face uh, the wall or yeah, like that, perfect. And in the course, I'm going to explain how and what I'm trying to achieve but for this purpose of the video, I'm going to just to show the final result and how I'm doing it. Okay, I'm gonna grab my phone. All right. Okay, so lunch. Actually, I'm gonna do one shot uh, just like that. Yeah, perfect. Hold it. And I'm going to add crystals. Crystals is one of the items that I'm going to use throughout the course. And I'm gonna try this one. All right. Beautiful. Hold on, let me lock my focus and bring my exposure a little bit lower. Okay, beautiful. And I'm going to use my crystal now to see. Perfect. One more time. Sorry, I'm holding you for a little bit longer. Very good, relax for now. Okay, and now I'm going to actually choose one of the images that I just took and I will show you how I quickly edit that image on my phone uh, to show you the final result.
Okay, so Anshu, help me. Which image do you think would? Work oh, they're the all best? so beautiful. I think we got a really good result on that last one. You wanna? We have a little bit more of the crystal on. The, on That's this very shot. beautiful. So I don't know. We can try this one, or it's very I trust subtle your opinion. over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you choose. I like that one. I know it's subtle here, but I like it. The last one? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll go ahead and edit this image really quickly. So I'm going to go to edit mode here. Um, what we're, we're trying to achieve here, a little bit nice depth of field with the image. And you can actually adjust it here in your camera as well by moving it all the way down to f1.4 this way our background looks even more blurry and i think that's that looks very artistic nice i really like it so let's keep it that way now we want to adjust the rest of the settings so let's go one by we're not gonna uh, increase or adjust our exposure so the light i think is okay on this image so brilliance maybe just a little bit bring it up highlights I will go back to highlights after I turn this image into black and white I think the same with shadows so let me go straight into an uh, saturation and I will desaturate this image bringing it all the way down so now uh, we lost all the colors so this image looks completely black and white and from here I'll go back to um, my contrast and I'll start adjusting my contrast so I like contrast so I'll bring it up to somewhere 32 or 33 33 yeah that would work now shadows let's see if we need to decrease or increase shadows I'll decrease shadows just a little bit so minus 25 and highlights I really like to bring highlights up so let's see I'm bringing the highlights up it's pretty and from here I will also let's see I think I like it like that I'll go ahead and crop this image so I'll get rid of this um, curtain rod click done and that's it let me show it to Solange and see what she thinks oh I love it Do that is so good you look good. You oh, always thank look you. good. <laughs> okay, um, so can be uh, other adjustments can be done. So, exa for example, if you like it a little bit more bright, you can go increase your exposure or bring the shadows, like manipulate your shadows. So, um, try different things and um, see what you like the best. And again, the course is available on BIB TV and BIB store. So go ahead and check it out and I'll see you next time.